With Avengers 4 probably being the most anticipated movie of 2019, I thought it'd be awesome to speculate five different ways Avengers 4 could end. How's it going, webheads? My name is Ryan Walsh. If you're new here and you're someone like me that loves to speculate and overanalyze all different pop culture movies, then this is definitely a channel for you, so consider subscribing and turning on the bell notification. I think it's an understatement to say that there are a ton of Avengers 4 theories out there online. I mean, wherever I turn online, I cannot stop seeing people pumping out brand new theories on Avengers 4. But you know, I haven't seen a lot of people talk about about the Avengers 4 ending. And honestly, the ending of Avengers 4 will probably be the biggest ending of any superhero movie just because it's supposed to end the current Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it. Which is no secret because even Joe Russo has gone on record and said that it will be the biggest MCU movie to date. Will the stakes be higher mm -hmm. in Avengers 4? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> 100%. I mean, the, the highest of any of the films today, without question. All right, maybe he didn't say that it was going to be the biggest movie, but he did say that it will have the highest stakes. So basically, it's the same thing. But let's really let this sink in for a little bit. It's going to have the highest stakes in any MCU movie. How is that even possible? I mean, Infinity War ended with more than half of the MCU heroes dying. They even killed Spider-Man. Stark? I don't feel so good. Honestly, I don't see how the stakes could get any higher within these movies. But you know, I started really deep diving into comic books and anything I could get my hands on that may reveal something that could happen within the movie. And with all the research that I gathered, I came up with five different theories on the ending for Avengers 4. So let's start off with the first one. And at number one, this is the most powerful cosmic entities within the Marvel Universe are the ones to actually defeat and stop Thanos. Looking back at the ending of Infinity War, Let's face it, Thanos still has the Infinity Gauntlet, and even though after the snap the Gauntlet and Thanos were damaged, that doesn't mean Thanos can't use the Infinity Gauntlet anymore. I mean immediately after the snap, Thanos uses the Gauntlet to get away, so there's proof right there that the Gauntlet can still be used. So with the Infinity Gauntlet on Thanos' side, I think it's safe to assume that Thanos is still the most powerful MCU character. Even though everyone over at Marvel is saying that Captain Marvel is the most powerful hero, which is just ridiculous if you ask me. I mean, come on, she gets one movie and all of a sudden she is the most powerful character in the entire MCU. Look at Thor, it took him six movies to get to the power level he is now, and Captain Marvel just takes one movie? That just doesn't make any sense at all. But getting back on track, the Avengers most likely won't be able to stop Thanos. So the only other characters that could do it within the MCU is probably the cosmic entities like the Living Tribunal, Eternity, and maybe even Galactus, which all of them show up in issue number five of the Infinity Gauntlet series to take on Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. And obviously this fight happens after Thanos already defeated all the heroes, so this is definitely possible. And the Living Tribunal and Eternity have been name dropped in Doctor Strange and Guardians of the Galaxy too. This is the staff of the Living Tribunal. Galactus, on the other hand, is a little far-fetched, but Marvel is supposed to get the rights back from Fox for the character in just a couple months, so with all these cosmic entities teaming up on Thanos, this may be the way that the universe gets saved. And number two, the entire MCU reality changes. One of the biggest theories surrounding Avengers 4 is time travel, and a lot of you probably have heard this. Fans think that some of the Avengers will time travel to the past using the Quantum Realm to gather the Infinity Stones before Thanos ever does. Which we do know that time travel through the Quantum Realm is possible because Janet Van Dyne in Ant-Man the Wasp end credit scene did say it herself. And don't get sucked into a time vortex. We won't be able to save you. 
And personally, I think this is extremely likely. One, because we have Avengers 4 set photos showing that they are going to be going back in time and it looks like they're going to be within the Battle of New York during the first Avengers movie. And Avengers 4 is supposed to be the end of the current MCU universe. So going back in time and revisiting all the past MCU movies would be a great way to tie everything up. And how cool would it be if they actually went back to the first Avengers movie and instead of just fighting up the Jatari and calling it a day, they actually went through the portal that the Tesseract opened up in the movie and they went and they battled Thanos then. I think that would be really interesting to see, honestly. But that's just my personal opinion. And number three, the original Avengers sacrifice himself. It's pretty obvious that all the original Avengers survived the snap in Infinity War. And it's no secret that in real life, a lot of the actors' contracts that play these Avengers, like Captain America, Iron Man, or even Thor, all those contracts are going to be up after this movie. This is their last movie for their current contract. So it's very possible that they could not be coming back. So if a lot of these actors decide not to come back, I think it's very likely that a lot of these Avengers are going to die within the next movie. And the perfect way to do this is to see the original Avengers steal away the Infinity Gauntlet from Thanos. Now obviously one of them can't just put it on because they're not as powerful as Thanos and Thanos is the only being that can use the Infinity Gauntlet because he's the most powerful being in the entire universe. So if all of them use it together, they could all reverse everything that happened in Infinity War just by snapping their fingers and then boom, there you go. All of those characters die with the Infinity Gauntlets and everything from Infinity War gets completely redone and they made the ultimate sacrifice. I think this would be really good because you can see your favorite heroes sacrifice themselves for the greater good and showing you exactly how big of heroes they really are. And we wouldn't be getting the same old MCU movies over and over and over again. It would be keeping the entire universe fresh. Number four, the Infinity Stones are destroyed. Now this theory can be used with a lot of the other ones, but I think this theory needs to be in Avengers 4. This is an element to the movie where you really just can't skip out on and have it still lingering in there. If the Infinity Stones are still within the MCU after Avengers 4, who's to say that the next big bad guy coming into the MCU isn't going to be going after the Infinity Stones? Honestly, most of the villains within the MCU could use the Infinity Stones, and obviously with Infinity War, Spreading all of them out throughout the entire universe already proved that that is the worst idea to do with them because guess what? Somebody will go around and collect them all and then gather them all together. So I think Marvel's a little smarter than this and they're not just going to be putting that out there and having the Infinity Stones still be a big threat. Instead, the smart thing to do is destroy them all, which we do know is possible because Scarlet Witch destroyed the Mind Stone in Infinity War. So if that's all possible, I think they could do it once again in Avengers 4. And now in number five, the entire MCU versus Thanos and his army. In my opinion, this is the theory that I think I want to see the most in Avengers 4. Thanos versus the original Avengers is obviously going to happen within the movie. But you know, I feel like there's just a giant part of Thanos' army that we haven't seen yet. I mean, if the Chitauri were within that movie, we saw it on Sanctuary 2, which is Thanos' ship. We saw them all around there, and even within some flashbacks in Infinity War, we saw some Chitauri soldiers. So obviously, Thanos having the biggest army in the universe, there's still a lot of soldiers that he can utilize in that movie. So by showing that the Chitauri were in Infinity War but not using them, I think this is the Russo brothers really just saving this for Avengers 4. And I think it's obvious that all of those other Avengers characters in Guardians of the Galaxy, all those characters that did get dusted in that movie, they will be coming back in Avengers 4. And when that happens, I want to see all the MCU heroes united together against Thanos and his army in a giant battle, something that'll top the Titan and Wakanda battle from Infinity War. But of course, let me know your Avengers 4 ending theories down in the comments below. And if you want more of my movie theories, definitely be sure to click on this playlist right over here so you guys get plenty more videos just like this one. But Webheads, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Bye-bye.